What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at episode four for the Nano Reef Tank build. This is the Waterbox 20-gallon cube. Today we're going to be going over the upgrades that I've gotten for the filtration system on this. The filtration systems run a very specific way, and I think that running these media trays will just make it run that much better and actually easier. So let's take a look at them. I did get the chamber one and the chamber two by Intank. If you've never heard of Intank, I will leave a link to their website in the description below. This is Intank right here. This is a little sticker. This is their little logo. I think it's pretty cool. They make all kinds of like aftermarket filtration inserts for many things, like almost all all-in-ones made. They have them for hang on the back filters, just a ton, a ton of stuff. Definitely go check out their website. It may give you a few ideas to, you know, maybe setting up a little side tank, a little nano tank or quarantine tank, whatever. So the first tray fit absolutely perfect. The second tray did not, but that's my fault. And I'll explain to you guys why I did have to modify the middle section and it came out pretty good. But anyway, let's check out the first section. One key thing I do want to point out though, is that Waterbox specifically uses tinted glass, so when the light comes on, you can see through. When you have an LED hanging over there and you got a lot of power coming through, you could possibly see your filtration. So one thing they did is they actually made the front of it, as you can see here, solid black. So that you can't see all the filtration in there. I thought that was a really ingenious idea. This thing fits absolutely perfect. It does come with the center tray is removable just pops right out real real easily like that it has these little slots so you can you know get it back in place pretty quick that's it you can uh, put anything you want in here really what I'm gonna be doing is, is I'm gonna be doing my pinky pads right here that's pretty much specifically why I got this is because I wanted to run my pinky pad right here instead of the filter sock that comes stock with it I didn't want to have to wash them and buy a hundred more of them or you know not a hundred like five more of them I don't want to do that it's easier to just get a big roll of pinky pad and for this tank it probably last me two years center section I'm probably gonna run some carbon in there and that's pretty much it here I might put some uh, GFO if needed down the road I don't really think I'm gonna need that but that's the plan for now is really I got this for the pinky filters and some carbon and as you can see, it just slides in absolutely perfect. Look at that. If, if I let it go, it would fall. It's got this nice little hook right here, and it actually clips on the first glass baffle. Perfect fit, actually. It's just totally ingenious right there. Now, the second section, I had to do some modifications. When any company makes an all-in-one section, these are all silicone by hand. It's not like they're, they kind of have a machine like this. So each baffle can be a little bit off. It could be an eighth of an inch off. And when I, you know, looked up on the website, it does say to measure and make sure that it's going to fit. Well, the ones that they make are eight inches from end to end, from side to side. And when I put the tape measure in there, I just kind of eyeballed it. So I ordered it. It was on sale. I ordered it. I think it was $28. So you can't beat that for this huge section but it did not fit, so I had to modify it. And modifying it actually was pretty simple. So again, this center section has this full black cover so that when you have a, whatever you have back here, even if you have a refugium behind here, this is gonna block any light from going through, whether it's a refugium light or if it's your tank LED shining through. Now, let me move the tank to the side and I'll show you guys this, guys this real quick. I know somebody did have a question on this. So as you can see here, the filtration section, I mean, actually, hold, hold on, hold on, let me get this out of the way. Okay, so here it is. Again, this one does come with the whole cover. Now, if you want to run a refugia behind it, these are removable as well, and the center section is removable. I'm not going to be using the center section. I'm literally just going to fill this with a bunch of my Marine Pure Spheres from the 75-gallon reef tank that I have upstairs. And that's it. Maybe I'll put something here. I don't really need to. I'm going to have the first section covering carbon and, um, you know, my filtration, you know, my uh, pinky pads. 
and put this here so you can take a look at it. So this right here was about a sixteenth of an inch too long. It was exactly eight inches, but my baffles were just a little under eight. So what I literally had to do was take a pair of strong scissors, nothing special. These are the actual scissors here. These are my little shop scissors. And I had to cut straight down here. And then I had to cut this side piece. And then all I did was is I used the dollar store glue and I kind of just squeezed it like silicone all the way across. And then I hit it with the instant, you know, the spray accelerator. And I did the same thing with this. And I made sure that this was nice and smooth. And then I did up here as well. So now it's nice and strong. And it fits in there perfectly. What I did is I would cut it, kind of hold it in their place to see how it fit. And it actually, just by cutting this side and then this side, it fit absolutely perfect. So I really, really like it. It was my fault that I ordered it because it does say on their website to measure your baffles because there is human error when the baffles are siliconed in place. So definitely happy with these upgrades. I think it's going to make this, make the system just, I think it's going to make it super easy to run everything. So in tank media, again, check out the description for the link to the website, check out what they have. Even if you don't, you know, even if you're not in the market for doing something different, just look and see what they have. I think it'd be very helpful down the road. If you do decide to do something, you'll probably remember, oh man, they made this really cool thing and I'm going to get that for this and it's going to make it so much easier. But that's pretty much what it looks like in the back. Only there's a baffle in between here, but that is a really good upgrade. This center section, I think was originally 58, but it was on sale for $28. So that's why I got that. And I think this one here was like 38 or something. I got the whole thing shipped for, I want to say it was like 60 bucks, but totally worth it. I was going to do my own DIY, but theirs is a lot better than what I would come up with. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this was helpful. Maybe you learned something new today. Maybe you've never heard of Intank Media. And now you can see what they have to offer. So that's it for now, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for episode five of the Nano Reef Tank Build. Thanks for watching. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.